What's up, everybody? Good morning. Thank you for coming to hang out. The country saga continues yet again, and to the Toby Keith saga continues. Didn't know. Um, I learned recently about his uh, that he's battling stomach cancer right now. I've been truly loving his music. It's hilarious. It's it's it provides levity, right? There's probably a solid two, three Toby Keith songs in my country playlist, which again, I never thought. I would have if you're new here i used to freaking hate country for no reason and so by starting this channel and seeking to uh honestly i was trying to find controversial videos to make if that makes sense so i technically want i wanted to like uh i wanted to roast country lo and behold here i am liking it so toby keith don't let the old man in at the 2023 people's choice country awards this was performed just two weeks ago. Toby wrote this song in 2018 as a birthday present for Clint Eastwood, who was going to begin shooting his next movie, The Mule. Clint liked the song so much that he put it in the movie. Watching Toby perform the song in light of his ailment adds another meaning to it, and he sure didn't let the old man in that night. Well, this video is sponsored by Michael J, and it seems like Michael's trying to get me to cry. If we cry, we're gonna, you know, we're just gonna let it happen, you know? We shall see. Whatever happens, happens, bro. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. If you want to find ways to help and support the channel, check out the description down below. And to all of you who like and subscribe and all of that, thank you so much. Don't let the old man in. Ooh. Oh my gosh, he's so skinny. Can't leave it up to him He's knocking on my door And I knew all of my life That someday it would end Get up and go outside Don't let the old man Yeah, many moons I have lived My body's weathered and warm Just ask yourself how old would you be If you didn't know the day you were born Try to love on your wife oh, man. And stay close to your friend Is that, is that his wife? Toast each sun down with wine Don't let the old man in One more verse, we're gonna pause. Okay, this is a good place. I have to pause and, 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 and comment, if not, these videos get taken down, as you know. Oh my gosh, dude, it's, uh, I'm not getting, like, sad and emotional, thankfully. Uh, but there is a, a reverence there. I have the goosebumps. I don't know if, if, if when he wrote the song, if he knew he had cancer, but now that he does and he, he wrote the song, oh my gosh, it's so fitting. There's nothing like advice coming from a man who is perhaps dying. We listen to it differently. And I love that with all of this, he chose to find ways to to share those those things that he's learned. And again, this just shows so much his humanity. And uh, again, his his stuff is hilarious. A lot of his stuff is really really funny. And so knowing that he br brings that much joy with that levity, this is this just hits different. Don't let the old man in. So it's such a clever such a clever thing to to say. And boy, am I do I think a lot of people are glad that he still hasn't let the old man in, right? He's crying, bro. Gosh dang it. Yeah, many months I have lived. My body's weathered and warm. Ask yourself, how old would you be if you didn't know the day you were born? When he rides up on his horse. You feel that cold, bitter wind 
Look out your window and smile Don't let the old man in Look out your window and smile But don't let the old man in Oh, jeez. Dude, this is just, this just hits, this just hits really hard. Don't let the old man in. I want to live me some more. Can't leave it up to him. He's knocking on my door. When he sings those words, many moons I have lived, my body's, my body's weathered and worn. Ask yourself how old you'd be if you didn't know the day you were born. Well, try to love on your wife and stay close to your friends. Toast each sundown with wine. Don't let the old man in. I interpret that in a couple of ways. The old man being either, you know, God asking you to like, hey, come into my kingdom, right? That that whole, you know, religious overtone to it. Or it could just, and that's what I think uh, he's saying. But for some reason where my mind goes, and this is why I, I love music so much, is that sometimes it just means different things at times, especially with what you're going through. So it's almost like we find ways that the universe or something gives us a message through music not directly but it's just a medium to the message that we need you know so to me don't let the old man in it's it's that that person in each of us who is kind of you know giving up especially if things don't seem to be going the the best way possible things look bleak don't let that person win keep bathing yourself in love and loving others and enjoying and appreciating gosh man Oof. Yeah. So, so the thing is, you know, the reason I think that hits so close to home is like, right. We, uh, we all can't help but put ourselves in his shoes and thinking those words and, and it makes us feel things, but this is where, I'll, you know, I'll take another tangent on, on that. I'm a little, uh, cause I'm a person. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of events in the world today. And I, that song helped me think at least to have the focus, at least today, love on your family and love on your friends let's not give up let's not give up hope and maybe through fully experiencing the good and and uh expressing gratitude for the good that we have maybe whatever evils and and pain and sufferings are coming all of our way maybe we can mitigate them at least that's beautiful michael thank you so much for that suggestion i had so much fun guys well fun isn't the right word but i felt what i need to feel to have a good day today so Thank you guys for hanging out, and I hope you did too. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. And again, thank you all for being my guides through this journey and discovering such a great genre of music. Peace out, everybody.